Thousands are stuck tonight in airports as Southwest Airlines schedule melts down. The airline warning that it would operate at about a third of its usual schedule in the days ahead so that crews can get back to where they need to be. But that doesn't seem to be helping folks who need to get home right now. West Jews Anika Hope is live tonight at OIA. And Anika, what can people expect moving forward? Yeah, the airline has already scrubbed around 2,500 flights for Wednesday, nearly 1,400 for Thursday. I spoke with one woman. I asked her about her flight, and she just broke down crying. She told me they're stranded for about five days. There is nothing sweet about sleeping in the airport, but Tanya and Michelle Hines make the best of it. Actually, we stood in the Southwest line for five hours before we got the answer of being able to leave on December 31st. They should have left on December 26th, but for five nights, they're not flying anywhere. We're just hanging out right here. This is this is home. This is it right here. We're going to make the best of it. According to FlightAware, Southwest Airlines called off more than 2,500 flights Tuesday. No other airline came close to the number of cancellations as much of the winter weather passed. Southwest warned it would operate at about a third of its usual schedule to reorganize crews, but the federal government said it would still investigate why the company lagged so far behind. Um, as well as they could potentially face fines by the DOT, but it, it is definitely something where they're going to, you know, potentially need to pay, um, you know, to cover things like hotels and potentially other um, tickets for other flights. Travel expert and spokesperson for Scotts Cheap Flights, Katie Nastro, said the Department of Transportation's investigation into Southwest could lead to industry-wide improvements, like carriers ensuring you can rebook easily on a separate airline. And maybe this is actually the time when the DOT mandates that interline agreements across every U.S. carrier are enforced and put into place. But for the stranded, traveling has left a bitter taste, and many just want to savor how sweet it will be to go home. What are you going to feel like when you get on that Oh, man, come on. <laughs> Now, the travel expert we spoke to explained the federal government will investigate just how much of this mess was under Southwest control, whether that was scheduling, planning, or much bigger factors than any snowstorm. We're live Orlando International, Anika Hope, West 2 News. And